we don't talk about COVID. Maybe you do. Maybe people in closed rooms, close to each other, do so. But in the main information stream, we don't. The political narrative that exists around me, at the very least, and likely around you, has forgotten it all happened. The lockdowns, the effects of the disease, whether or not there were excess deaths, vaccine testing and side effects, whether it affected women and men differently. We don't talk about it. Now there's a joke I enjoy in my close circle that goes, Putin cured COVID. Now, what that joke is trying to say is that in February 2022, when Russia invaded Ukraine proper, if you want to call it that, we stopped talking about COVID, or at least the sense going off of the science of vibes or the politics of vibes, it stopped being an issue. Lockdowns stopped being a discussion. Excess booster shots stopped being an issue. And testing soon disappeared as a requirement for flights or things like that. This all invites the question, why did this happen? Why did we stop talking about an issue and start talking about another one? Why did we replace one villain for another so quickly and so efficiently? Did one villain disappear? You may be asking yourself similar questions about certain wars. There are wars that are happening that we don't talk about. Maybe you heard of Sudan for one day and then haven't thought about it since. Maybe you've forgotten that Libya is still in civil war and so is Yemen. Maybe we've forgotten that there's still militant cells or there's still ISIS cells in Iraq. Maybe we've forgotten that Al-Qaeda is still a thing in sub-Saharan Africa. Or maybe you stop thinking about Ukraine as much now that whatever whatever's happening in the Middle East is happening at the time of recording. This is all to say, there seem to be ways of deciding what we talk about. There are ways of determining what is the important issue immediately. I made an earlier video in Spanish, a very short one, where I discussed that we talk about abortion, but we don't talk about the cost of starting families. You know, how the re abortion being easily accessible is actually not the reason why there are no children. The reason there are no children is because people aren't having them or aren't keeping them or cannot afford to make those decisions. Why do I mention this? That's an example of narratives. We talk about one of those issues as if it's the cause of a problem, as if it's somehow related. When there's this other issue we don't talk about. And it's not about it being on a scale of importance. Maybe one of them is more emotive, but I think there's something else there. We work in a problem economy. I don't know if that's a feature of contemporary living or if it's always been this way. I suspect it hasn't, but I'm not sure. An example of this was John Stewart, the comedian, once said that 24-hour news was made for one thing, and that was 9-11. In the absence of 9-11, of an event of that magnitude, of that shock, of that need for there to be 24-hour streams of lively, updated information, we elevate problems to that scale. So then you'll never turn on the TV. Here's the, that's the example. You never turn on the TV to hear, not much has happened today. Of course, something's always happening somewhere, but the news is there to make you care or put it in your uh, lens to affect you in a way. And I think this is related to 
there being a market for selling problems. There's always a fare for passage, or a toll, that is to say, if you're not paying for something, you might be the product, you might be what's being sold. The news is an obvious example of this, whether that's your attention being sold simply, or something deeper happening. I suspect that is that if a thought, if a problem is being talked about, it's because someone can sell you a solution to that problem, or a perceived solution. There are plenty of problems, maybe more important ones, we don't talk about. And that's not because they're not problems. It's probably because it sells something. Relating back to politics, Putin cured COVID. We stopped talking about COVID because there was a new solution that could be sold, whether that was someone being, some regime being legitimized, some industry becoming incredibly rich, or some attention being put elsewhere. I'm not sure. Well, I'm sure that's what happened. I'm not sure what the specifics are. Thank you for listening.